Today I'm going to show you how to add another domain onto your cPanel hosting. As you can tell, one of the benefits of why you should probably get a cPanel over a WordPress hosting is that you can still download WordPress onto your cPanel, but you can tell here for $10.99 per month, you can literally hold unlimited websites, unlimited space, unlimited bandwidth for just $10.99. So if you have maybe five to 10 websites to get a thousand users a month, this might be perfect for you. You can actually save money in the long run. I personally use the host a nerd, uh, but let me go ahead and jump on to my cPanel. As you can tell on our cPanel, we already have a domain. It's so simple guys. All you have to do once you're inside the cPanel, you scroll down to where it says add on domains. And on the add-on domains where it says create an add-on domain, you go ahead and put your new website. Once you put your new website, you just all you have to do is click add domain. Again, this is not a, a URL that we own, but I'm just going ahead and show you. So right now we added the domain 1234test.com. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go back to the home page on the cPanel once you're in the cPanel you're going you're not going to uh, click on this WordPress down here you're actually going to scroll down to the WordPress under web applications once you're inside web applications you click WordPress and what this is going to do is going to take you to download WordPress onto your add-on domain on your cPanel so once you go ahead and do that, you click install. And once you go to install, you're going to put the domain that you just added. In our case, here's 1234test.com. We're going to delete this because we don't want, if you leave anything here on the directory, it's actually going to show you blog. So if you do, if you, let's say you do, uh, if you add blog, right? If for people to find your WordPress site, they now have to go to 1234test.com forward slash blog to find your WordPress site. So we're, we want to get that deleted. Here, you just kind of leave everything the same. You can go ahead and put your information on here. Your email, password. This is all not necessary. And you just leave it how it is and you click install. What this will do is it will install WordPress onto your new add-on domain on your cPanel. As simple as that, guys. So make sure if you have multiple sites, let's actually take a look here and see how much the hosting is for WordPress websites. All right, so here, uh, for two websites, $14.99, I mean, you're kind of, you know, you're kind of limited. Again, with the cPanel, you can do way more as well. You can uh, you you can optimize your your hosting here. You can't really do much. So you with two of these, you're already saving uh, two dollars. So that's one of the reasons why I suggest cPanel. So again, WordPress over cPanel. I go cPanel all the way. But for now, thank you for watching on how to install a add-on domain to your cPanel hosting.